Good morning, and welcome to you, Math and Me. And today, we're going to be looking at some real life application problems. And the reason I say real life, because all the uh, multiplication of fractions, uh, division of fractions, addition of fractions, subtraction of fractions, things we went over last week, we're going to apply to some word problems. And, you know, I've talked before about the ability to read, write, arithmetic, the three R's. And I say it like that because it is imperative that we're able to read. Okay, so we're going to look at one problem right away. And this problem is, goes like this. It says, how many feet of lumber are needed to make 12 shelves, each measuring 5 and 2 thirds feet? Okay. Now, first of all, again, how many? That infers that we have to do some multiplication. And what figures do we have? We have 12 shelves times five and two-thirds. Now always we're going to do an estimate, okay? We're going to do an estimate and this five and two-thirds is close to six. And we're going to make how many? Twelve. And what do we know? Our basic facts. Our basic facts indicates that six times twelve is seventy-two feet. Now, to multiply this particular problem, we're going to again, remember last week, we convert 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17 over 3. We've converted this mixed fraction into an improper fraction, okay? Now, we can rewrite this 12 over 1, and now we have what's called cross multiplication. Have to know those factors. 3 goes into itself once and 3 goes into 12 four times. And then you have the numerators that we must multiply. 4 times 7 28 carry to 2 2 times I'm sorry, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And we have 68 over 1, and our estimate was 72 feet. And our final answer says that we need 68 feet of wood in order to make 12 shelves. And that's one application. So again, when you're building those shelves, we want to measure twice, cut once. The next application that we're going to look at, and again it's a multiplication problem, is money. Overtime pay. We all like to make some overtime. And in this case, overtime is one and a half times your hourly wage. And in this case, Richard earns eight dollars an hour. How much is his hourly overtime rate? Again, simple, $8 per hour times one and one half when he exceeds the basic 40-hour week. Again, eight. We convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. Two times one is two plus one is three over two. 2 goes into itself once, 2 goes into 8 four times, 4 times 3 is 12. So in this case, Richard would make $12 an hour when he gets into that overtime motion. Okay, very important to know because we don't want to be cheated when we're working overtime. Let's do one more multiplication problem. 
and we'll look at another situation. Somebody might be doing some sewing or whatever the case may be. And it says Mary needs three and two fifths yards of material to make a dress. How many yards of material will Mary need if she makes four dresses? Four dresses. How many again implies multiplication? And we said that each dress is three and two-fifths yards needed to make each dress. Okay? Again, four over one. And we're going to convert this mixed number. Five times three, 15, plus two, 17 over five. And real quick estimate, this two-fifths is less than a half, so we're going to go four times three, 12 is our estimate. But we know we're going to exceed that because of this two-fifths. So again, four times seven, 28, carry two, four times one, plus two, 68, over 5. Now we have a division problem. 5 goes into 68. Once. 5 goes into 18 three times. And that's 15. And our remainder becomes the numerator. And our divisor becomes the denominator. So, we need 13 and 3 fifths yards of material in order to make four dresses. Okay. As we look forward to the next segment, we're going to be talking about some division applications. Okay? And again, this is everything that we went through last week, only we have the ability to read. Okay? Now, we might as well do more, two more problems because it seems like I'm moving kind of fast today. <laughs> oh, boy. It says the carpenter needs six and a half feet of lumber to make a shelf. If she has enough lumber to make eight and two-thirds shelves, how much lumber does she have? Wow. So again, another multiplication. We got six, one-half, times eight and two-thirds. Again, multiplication of an mixed numbers. Estimation again, six and a half is close to seven, eight and two-thirds is close to nine. Our estimate is 63. Okay? Now, we know it's going to be a little bit less because we're working with mixed, mixed numbers, one that's less than seven, one that's less than nine. Process again is 12, two times six is 12 plus one is two times 3 times 8 is 24 plus 2 is 26 over 3. 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into 26, 13. And I know, but we better check it. It's 169. over 3. And again, we have another division problem. 169 divided by 3, 5, that's 15, 6, that's 18, and 1 third. 
So our answer would be 56 and one-third feet. Okay. All righty. Let's look at another problem in our application process. Carpeting sells for $9.25 per yard. How much will 15 and a half yards cost? Okay. Again, $9.25. And it says no. $9.25 is equivalent to nine and one fourth. That enables us to multiply nine and one fourth times fifteen and one half. Okay. Conversion, 4 times 9, 36, plus 1, 37, over 4, times 2 times 15 is 30, 31 over 2. Okay. So we have here the denominator is 6, and then we have to do some multiplication. 1 times 37 is 37, 21, 11. And that numerator is 1,147 divided by 6. Six goes into 11 once. 6 goes into 54, 9. Bring down the 7 once. And your answer would be 191 and 1 sixth. Okay. Now, for this, these problems on the multiplication application, I'd like to take a moment, and when we come back, we'll look at some division applications. I want to thank you for this time, and we'll be right back.
Hello again and welcome back to You, Math and Me. And remember, you can reach me at gerandall22 at gmail.com. Okay, again that's gerandall22 at gmail.com. All right, we're going to look at some division applications. There'll be people out there that sew, and in particular, let's say that it takes three and a half y yards to make a dress, and you have 32 yards of material. How many dresses can you make? Again, we have 32 yards divided by three and a half yards, okay? That's how much, how many yards it'll take to do one dress. Okay, so the division says 32 divided by, and we're going to change this or convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. Okay, and now you repeat writing as a fraction times the reciprocal and now you multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And in this case, 64 divided by 7. And again, 64 is in the house, 7 is your divisor, 9 63. So we can make, in this case, 9 and 1 7 dresses. We can't make a 7 dresser, so we would have 9 dresses that we make out of 32 yards. Okay? Very good. Now, We can look at another application because when we're out there measuring to build, let's say, a little doghouse or whatever the case may be, we always want to measure twice and cut once. Okay. So we look at a problem where it says a length of lumber measures four. Four-fifths meters. And we want to cut a number of pieces measuring one and one-fifth meters. How many one and one-fifth meters of lumber can we get? So again, we have four and four-fifths divided by one and one-fifth. We're going to convert our mixed numbers into improper fractions. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 4 is 24 over 5 divided by 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 over 5. And the rule says to repeat the first fraction multiplied by its reciprocal. And this one 5 goes into itself once, 5 goes into itself once, 6 goes into itself once, and 6 goes into 24 four times. 1 times 1, 4 times 1, and that's equivalent to 4 pieces of lumber cut at 1 and 1 fifth uh, feet. Measure twice, cut once. And again, these are real life applications. You'll be able to figure out how many pieces of lumber you're going to need or be able to cut out of a certain length. And all of this pertains to our ability to work with fractions 
and measure, and so forth. Okay. How many pieces of ribbon, each measuring 15 inches, can be cut from a ribbon that's six and one fourth feet? We got some conversions. We got 15 inches. We've got six and one fourth feet. Okay, now we can do one of two things. We can convert these inches into feet or feet into inches. So, we have to know this. We have to know how many inches are in one foot. Twelve inches. So, we're going to express 15 inches into so many feet. So, uh... 15 divided by 12, we get 1, for 3 remainder, and that 3 becomes the numerator, and the divisor 12 becomes the denominator. Is this 3 twelfths in simplest form? No. We went over this last week and the week before. We're going to take the largest factor, and we're going to divide by 3, because that's the largest number, and in this case we call it the largest or greatest common factor that will go into 3 and 12 evenly. And in this case we're going to have 1, this one right here, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 12 divided by 3 is 4, and now we've expressed this 15 inches as one and a quarter feet. Now, we're talking the same language. So, six, one-fourth, divided by one and one-fourth. Conversion, four times six is 24, plus one, 25 over 4, divided by 4 times 1, plus 1, 5 over 4. Repeat the first fraction, multiply by its reciprocal. 1, 1, 5 into itself once, 5, 5 times, 5 times 1, 1 times 1, how many pieces of ribbon? 5 pieces of ribbon. That was 15 inches long, that we converted to 1 and 1 fourth feet. And then these two could talk to one another because we had 6 and 1 fourth feet. Again, in order for this particular problem to be answered correctly, we had to convert this 15 inches to feet, or we could have been converted this 6 and 1 4 feet to inches. Easier to do this. Okay? Again, if you have any questions, need to reach me, I can be reached at GE Randall, R-A-N-D-A-L-L, 22, at gmail.com. All righty. Let's see if we can get one more in. It says, if a board is 10 and 1 quarter feet long, and is cut into six equal pieces, how long will each piece be? Okay, ten. One quarter feet divided by six. Conversion, four times ten, forty, plus one. Divided by 
in this case, 6 over 1. Repeat the first fraction. Multiply by the reciprocal. And you have 41 over 24. And that equals 1 and 17 over 24. Okay? So in this case, answer is 1 and 17 over 24. And the pieces will be 1 and 17, 24 long, six pieces. Okay? All righty. Well, and we can check that by doing this. Taking our answer and multiplying it by the divisor. And this is one thing, again, I love about math. So we're going to take... Six over one times forty one over twenty four. Six goes into itself once, six goes here four times, and forty one divided by four is ten and one fourth where we started. love it. I love it. I love it. Again, when you're taking that test, and if you know the process, maybe you make a, you know, a numeric error, but if you know the process and how division and multiplication are related, addition and subtraction are related, you'll be able to check your answer without issue. And for the day, I think we're done. And I want to thank you for watching you, Math and Me.